Hostile Cerberus inbound. That's a kill. So today is May 13th. And if you guys didn't know, in exactly one month, it is going to be the Call of Duty World War II reveal trailer. This is when we are going to see some Call of Duty World War II gameplay for multiplayer. I am so hyped for the game, guys. Like, I am very, very hyped for Call of Duty World War II's multiplayer reveal. I cannot wait to see some gameplay. I have not been this hyped for a Call of Duty game since Black Ops 2. And, like, you know, I was hyped for Black Ops 3, but when I was really, really, truly hyped for a COD game, it was Black Ops 2. Because, you know, when Black Ops 3's reveal trailer came out, you know, I already wasn't too fond of the EXO movement from Advanced Warfare. So when I saw EXO movement in Black Ops 3, I wasn't really too fond of it. But it wasn't until I had to try the beta myself. I think Black Ops 3 is one of my favorite Call of Duties right now. And you can't really judge the game unless you play it. So, But other than that, like even though I haven't played Call of Duty World War 2 or I haven't seen any gameplay of it, but just knowing the facts, it's going back to its roots that we all used to know and love about Call of Duty, I'm really hyped and I cannot wait to see what Sledgehammer Games has worked on for us. You know, I have a whole bunch of questions, like, and I'm pretty sure a whole bunch of you guys have a lot of questions as well as I do. Very curious to see what kind of guns, what kind of score streaks or kill streaks are they gonna have pro perks? Are they going back to pro perks? Are they going back to, you know, you have sleight of hand and then you could have sleight of hand pro? Like, I'm so curious about the multiplayer and I cannot wait to see what kind of things they're going to show us. Like we obviously know they're going to have like the basic World War II weapons like the M1 Grand. We know they're going to have like the MP40, STG 44s. But you know, other than that, I'm also curious, like what other guns are they going to have for us? Are they going to have like maybe like chemical weapons? Like I don't know if chemical weapons ever came to World War II. Are they going to have like a new kill streak, like the ones they dropped in Japan? Are they going to have something like that where, you know, it doesn't fully end the game, but it kills all the players off? Like, I'm really curious to see how, like, the kill streaks or score streaks are because um, last game we had that was World War II and Call of Duty was Call of Duty World at War. And, you know, they had the basic 357 kill streaks. Like, they only had the recon plane, they had the artillery bomb, and then they had the dogs. So, I'm curious to see what they're gonna have as score streak or kill streaks. Like, are they gonna have like uh, bombers? Like, are they gonna have B-52 bombers? Like, what are they gonna have? Like, I I'm just so curious to see the score streaks or kill streaks, whatever they're gonna call it in this game. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be score streaks because a lot of people like the score streak system a lot, including myself. I really do like the score streak system. I mean, because it makes you, I guess if you're playing the objective, it makes you play the objective more. And you have to earn more score to get some streaks. I'm really curious to see what they're doing for us. I mean, like I said, I wonder if pro perks are coming back. I personally, I would love to see pro perks come back. I've always liked pro perks. They were always good. They were always like perks to work towards. Hopefully the perks are balanced like how they are in Black Ops 3. I hope that score streaks or kill streaks are fun to use i hope they're fun score streaks i hope they're powerful score streaks because everybody people are lying when they say this everybody likes powerful score streaks i mean that's why call of duty is what it is because everybody likes score streaks that go ham i mean if you say you don't you're just lying to me i love it when my score streaks they go in i just love it like it's it's the best like black ops 2 number one reason why i really liked black ops 2 was because their score streaks were amazing. You had the load star, you had like a warship. I mean, we're not gonna see that in Call of Duty World War II, but still, just knowing that the streaks were good and they went in, like all the streaks were fun to use. So I'd like to see something like that. I mean, I think a really good streak, now I know this sounds weird, I think a really good streak for Call of Duty World War II would be like Kamikaze. Like that would be like the highest uh, score streak. Like call it in, it'd act like swarms. Like where they're kamikaze planes and they would start crashing down on the map. Like, that would be pretty damn cool. I I'd like to see something like that. I don't know if you guys would like to see stuff like that, but, but I'm really curious to see what kind of stuff they're going to use to make this game fun. Like, I wonder how the movement, like, are they going to make it like Modern Warfare Remaster, where the movement still boots on the ground, but it's very slow? Or are they going to make it like Black Ops 2, where the movement's boots on the ground, but it's fast? Like, I'm so curious and I cannot wait to see more details. I just want to see the gameplay trailer. I just want to see some multiplayer gameplay. You know, I want to see people's reviews. I want to play the beta so bad. I, I want to know when the beta comes out. I mean, we don't know when the beta comes out, but my guess is, guys, now I know this is just, you know, a shot in the dark, but 
and I, and this is probably like really like random and really like it's not going to happen at all but i personally think that the reason why you pre-order the game and you get the private beta i think it's because you get to play the game when everybody else plays it at e3 that's just how i think because it is going to be available to everyone to play at e3 because e3 is open to the public this year it's going to be available for everyone to play if you pre-ordered it with the private beta like that's what i think because you know sledgehammer games they are really excited about this game like they cannot wait for the public to play this game and i cannot wait to play the damn game myself like it's it's gonna be a good game like i can already tell it's gonna be a good game because it's already got the community excited i hope it's a good game like i keep saying to myself it's gonna be a good game i just hope it's gonna be a good game because if it's not a good game i i don't know man but i just hope it's not too slow paced like modern warfare remastered because Modern Warfare Remastered, oh my god, it is just way too slow for me. Like, it's too slow, and I kind of really don't like the game, but, you know, that's just my opinion. I don't know, some people, they like that movement. I personally don't like that movement at all. No, that's people's opinions. If you like that kind of movement, that's cool. I just don't like that kind of movement. It's just way too slow for me. I hope the guns are balanced. Like, if you guys didn't play World at War, the MP40 was the most overpowered gun it's more overpowered than the m16 in warfare remastered it is so overpowered i hope they balance guns out really good i hope the gun sounds like for uh the gun audio sounds different from all of them they all sound unique because you know just little stuff like that makes people like the game a lot more like the thing about black ops 3 what i like about black ops 3 that you know, no matter really what gun you use i mean they're all balanced out perfect dude this guy won't die come here Bitch slapped. Like, the thing, like I said, Black Ops 3, guns are balanced. Like, you can really use any gun and you'll have fun with it because, really, they're just balanced. And that's what I want in uh, Call of Duty World War 2. You know, I just want the guns to be balanced. I want them all to be fun and unique. I want them all, I don't want, like, to just be using one gun because I have to. Like, I don't want to be using the MP40 because that's the only gun that's uh, good. Like, every other gun sucks. Like, I want very good different gun ver uh, variety i don't want no weapon variants that kills the game for me personally for me that kills the game i don't want to see that in the game at all um a lot of people say the same thing they wouldn't want to see it but then there's some people that say they want to see it i don't want to see that at all i i do not like weapon variants that's the that's probably one of the main reasons why i don't enjoy infinite warfare is just weapon variants in that game like they are annoyingly overpowered like the E-Rad, it's called the E-Rad, I forgot what it is. It's the one that shoots like a laser. That thing is so overpowered. Like I picked it up off the ground. I was going on a 15 kill streak. Like that gun is way too overpowered. I don't want to see nothing like that. So no weapon variants. I'm just really curious to see like what Call of Duty World War II has. Like I want to see their score streaks. I want to see, you know, the guns they're going to have. Because, you know, there are a lot of guns that were used in World War II. But I want to see what kind of guns they're going to implement in the game. I want to see, are they going to have like a nuke kill streak? Like are you going to be able, like if you go on a certain gun streak, like maybe a 25 gun streak, are you going to be able to drop like a nuke in the game? Like maybe it doesn't end the game because I don't like uh, game ending kill streaks. That's just annoying. So... Um, I'm just curious to what they're gonna do for Call of Duty World War 2. I want to see multiplayer gameplay I want to play it myself to judge it because you know someone can play it on the screen and say it's a good game But you have to personally play it yourself to see if it's a good game or not I'm really curious to see what the game is gonna be like for us You know, it's right around the corner guys. It's only a month left. It's May 13th June 13th is when they're gonna show the multiplayer reveal trailer for Call of Duty World War 2 and we'll see some gameplay and if you live in Los Angeles you guys are fucking lucky because you get to go and play Call of Duty World War II for uh, free. Everyone goes, uh, E3 is open to the public this year, so. And if you live in Los Angeles, I'm actually kind of jealous because you get to go play Call of Duty World War II, so. Who knows, maybe that the private beta means that everyone who pre-ordered the game can play it during E3 or maybe like a week or two after E3, I don't know. I mean, that's what I think because why would they name it private beta for no reason like why would they just name it private beta like there has to be a reason but let's open up this supply drop let's see what we get it's probably gonna be aids yeah just aids look at this nothing look at that this is like my regular supply drop guys this is what i get oh yeah and speaking of supply drops supply drops are gonna be in call of duty world war ii hope they're smart enough and they implement it like how they do it in modern warfare remastered and infinite warfare if there's one thing infinite warfare got right were the supply drops i mean even though, like, look, I'll show you guys. I don't have this gun. 
The only way I can get this gun is through a supply drop. There's no other way. Like, I have to get it through a supply drop. And Infinite Warfare, you all you would have to do in Infinite Warfare, you'd have to do a challenge. And if you complete the challenge, you get the gun. Like, it's like the perfect way. It's a win-win situation, you know? If you don't feel like doing the challenges, you can go ahead and spend money or open up supply drops for uh, to get the gun. But see, if you're like me that likes playing Black Ops 3, I'm telling you guys, if Black Ops 3 supply drop system was like Modern Warfare Remastered or Infinite Warfare, I'd literally have all these guns. I'd have every single DLC weapon. But, you know, hopefully their supply drop system is tweaked to like Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered. Please no Black Ops 3 system. I mean, Black Ops 3, I love you, but come on. Your supply drop system is complete bullshit, okay? Your supply drop system is so unfair. Like, people literally spend money to get guns like this, and sometimes they don't even get it. So, anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. I know I was rambling a lot, and probably I was repeating myself a lot. And, you know, like I said, guys, it's only a month away. I cannot wait to see what they have working up for us uh, for Call of Duty World War II. The multiplayer reveal trailer will be on June 13th and some gameplay people who are living in los angeles or people who are going to los angeles they're going to be able to play call of duty world war ii so i'm kind of jealous but you know we're gonna have to see maybe the private beta is promising to me that it would be on two to three weeks after e3 that's what i would think that's personally me i may be so wrong and i probably am wrong but that's what i think but anyways that's gonna do it for today guys thank you guys so much for watching the video you guys enjoyed it drop a like on it rate the video subscribe if you guys are new share the video really just help the channel grow thank you guys so much for watching the video and i'll talk to you guys all later peace out guys